Now, our gut health is so important, you may not realise a seemingly unrelated health issue could stem from problems with your digestion. That is why we have Stu Vaughan from Health 2000 back in the studio to talk about probiotics. Good morning, Stu. Good morning. So let's talk about it. What kind of symptoms could be linked to poor gut health? Well, the gut is our powerhouse or engine. There are so many things that are linked to poor gut health, such as digestive challenges like bloating, gas or loose bowels, which are typically related to the number and diversity of the gut bacteria living in our body. Cravings for things like sugar can be due to protein secretions from the not-so-good bacteria. It's like having a friend who's a bad influence. They'll get you to have the things they thrive on. Having a bad breath or sensitivities to food can be a sign that your overall gut is in overall poor health. Poor mood or stress can be related to your gut's ability to absorb certain nutrients and vitamins, so it can really be a guiding hand in our emotions. Uh, skin breakouts, poor immune health and, and more. The list is quite substantial. So you recommend this product that's available at Health 2000? Yes. What I like about Lighthouse Probiotic 75 billion is that it's a high strength multi-strain probiotic with delayed release and all in an easy to take veggie capsule. You don't have to keep it in the fridge and the technology behind it aids in its delivery throughout the digestive system. I like the fact that Lighthouse is a trusted brand which puts time into creating products that really work. So what does the 75 billion in the name actually refer to? Well this refers to the live culture which is the active component of the product. However, although it's a big impressive number, it's not actually the most important part. What you want to consider when choosing a probiotic is the number and quality of the strains of bacteria. Lighthouse Probiotic 75 billion uses 12 premium strains, including the How Are You Restore blend, which provides 40 billion live cells or colony forming units. So, so what else is in it then? Well, it also contains these three probiotic strands, Lactobacillus acidophilus, Raminosis and Casei, among others. The reason I mentioned those three strains particularly is that they are not only well known, but highly effective in repopulating the bowel flora. So who should consider taking these supplements? Again, much like the first question, the list is fairly long. Let's start with the main groups. Firstly, those who have finished or are on a course of antibiotics. This is important as the antibiotics kill all gut flora, both good and bad bacteria. So it's important to repopulate that good gut flora. Anyone who has highly processed diet, which may include a lot of sugar or junk food. There is nothing nutritious about these food products and they often contain little fibre. So adding a probiotic will help the gut flora and overall digestive health. Those who are stressed. Stress seems to affect so many people with these days. When we stress, the chemicals such as cortisol and adrenaline are pumping through our bodies, drawing blood away from the gut and causing lower activity. And lastly, those with poor skin health. The skin is the biggest organ in the body and the most visual sign of our gut health. Skin breakouts can be a side effect of poor digestion and overall gut health. So overall, adding in a good quality multi-strain probiotic is excellent for gut health and overall well-being. Excellent stuff. Thank you. Great advice. And Stu has Lighthouse Probiotic 75 billion for everyone in the audience today. And it is available at Health 2000. Just ask their friendly staff to point you in the right direction.